Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I am back with my second video for the Let's Explore V4 series. Today we are going to be talking about the second tab of the Page Setup panel, which is located in the top right of your version 4 Silhouette Studio program. So the Page Setup panel and tab 2, which is all about your grid on your screen. So today I have just picked a design that I have from my Silhouette uh, Design Store library that I've purchased previously, and that's what we're going to use for our visual. So the first thing over here is your show grid. If you check that, then it's going to bring up grid marks on your design mat. Um, all of these here are used for design purposes. This does not cut on your mat. This does not print on your mat or on your material. Um, it is for the purpose of designing only. Um, it gives you a good visual for spacing and for um, designing and um, adding things to your design as you go. So you can toggle your grid on and off here. You can choose snap to grid. So right now I have it unchecked and I can freely move my design. I'm grabbing it with my mouse and I'm moving it in, sh in small increments. If I use it with my keyboard and my arrow keys, you can see that my design is moving in small increments. If I choose snap to grid, then using my arrow key on my keyboard, you can see that my image jumps from grid space to grid space, back and forth. Or if I use my mouse to grab it, it's going to jump still from grid space to grid space. This would be, again, for design purposes, if you're wanting it to be an exact dimension, in this case, it would be an eighth of an inch each direction, then you would want to have your snap to grid on. Personally, sometimes snap to grid will magically turn itself on. Um, and so once you know why that happens, then you can go in and you can uncheck it if you are one of those people like myself who likes to be able to move my design freely um, in between all the grid spacing and everything. So if I turn my grid off here, just to show you visually, you can't see my grid, but if I check snap to grid, it's still going to jump across my mat. It's still using those grid lines to jump across my mat. And then if I uncheck snap to grid, you can see that I can move it easier and I can move it in smaller increments. So that is what your show grid and your snap to grid mean. <clears throat> so here, I'm gonna uncheck the show grid so you can see this better. Your show guides, guides are rulers that you can pull down from your ruler at the top or on the right side. Now, something to note is that your rulers are a upgrade feature. If you have designer edition upgrade or higher, you then have the rulers that show up above here or, or can show up. You can turn them off here by clicking on the ruler and they will disappear. I like having my rulers so I can decide exactly where it's at, but you can pull the ruler out by clicking on can pull the guide out by clicking on your ruler and pulling a guide out. Now what this does is it also helps for design purposes. So you could get something lined up perfectly on the three inch mark and the two inch mark if I move this down here to my two inch mark. So you can it's, it, think of it as an extension of your rulers on the side so you can get a visual. These marks are not cut lines, they are guides, so they will not show up on your design when you go to cut it, and they do not save with your file, so you would have to reset them each time if you want them out. Now I'll show you here with the grid lines on, when you move a guide out, it will, you can then place it very close or on top of your grid lines. So using it with in conjunction with your grid lines can help you in designing 
I turned the grid off so you could see the color of the lines easier. So your guidelines are there, but they will disappear when you go to save that file and if you reopen it. They do not stay with the file. So another feature here is your snap to guides. You can make it so that your image will snap to the guide. So you can see here that I can get my image exactly lined up on those guide marks right here. So I'm gonna oh, put that one over there. <clears throat> so you can see when I select my image, my selection box around my image is now lined up exactly with my guidelines. So that's another feature that can be used for designing purposes if you're trying to place your design exactly in, say, a corner of your mat perfectly. The crosshairs function here, I'm going to turn off all my guides and everything so that you can see this better. The crosshairs function, if you click it on, you will notice, and it's very hard to see, let's zoom in a little bit, you will notice, let's see if maybe if I change my color. It stays the same. You'll notice at the end of your mouse pointer, you now have what is a crosshairs. And you can see at the top of my screen up here and on the side, on the right side of my ruler, you can see another line, but it now has crosshairs on there. And it's, it's hard to see because it's a gray line, but it just follows you around wherever you're going um, if, if you prefer to have that turned on. So I'm gonna zoom out here. A little bit. We're going to um, place my design back on my mat. And then you have your spacing down here. And you can toggle between square. So let's turn on my grid. And I've changed my color. So first I'll say I changed it to red to see if you could see that crosshair better. And it didn't change the color there. But you can change the color of your grid lines down here. For visual purposes, again, this is not something that changes on your mat or on your material so we can change it back to let's say we'll change it to red this time so right now i have it set as a square and that's how you can line up your designs or you can change it to isometric and it changes that look for you it changes your grid spacing to the isometric um, again it's just another design feature so you could get a visual of how when you're drawing or creating a shape, how you could change that um, and adjust your design to match. So here I have my square and then your spacing is below that. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see how this changes. So I'm looking here between my zero and three inches and I can choose my grid spacing. Right now it's set at two inches and you can see that I have a bolder red line here at two inches. I can change it down to one inch. So then my boldest red lines are at one inch. I'm gonna bump that back up to two inches and you can either change that by the slider bar. You can type in a number here or you can use the arrow keys up and down. And then your divisions. You can change whether your divisions, right now I have it set to 10, but I can change that down and you can watch on my screen as it changes down to five. So now I only have five different divisions on my grid in my two inch space. Or I can change this back to 10 and you'll watch as it changes back to 10 grid spaces. It's a matter of personal preference. Um, this tab here is most often used when you are designing things to get a spatial view of everything and to evenly space things out. I hope that helps you understand it a little bit better. And knowing what each of those functions does, when you have something show up on your screen, such as the grid or your design is now snapping to the grid, so it's jumping across your screen when you're trying to move it, then you can change that and know how to easily uncheck or check the box that you need to. Hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.